Hello and welcome to another Arkeys video and to a new 2 million credit time trial challenge on Gran Turismo 7. This time we are at Kyoto Driving Park, the Yamagiba reverse layout and we are in the Bugatti VGT uh, Group 1 car. And this car has a lot of downforce, a lot of grip and uh, all in all is all the opposite of what I'm normally fast in. I usually do well with low grip and low downforce, so I actually had some trouble keeping up with the fast guys and even getting a lap in in this one. This video contains both my first hour, first impressions and then my further grinding to try to set a reasonable time. So sit back, relax, have a drink and uh, join me as I try to figure out this car. And if this is your first time watching and you found this video entertaining by the end, feel free to hit the like and subscribe button, it is highly appreciated. Let's get straight into my first run. So this is Thursday morning, I'm jumping in straight away, the new time trial has just opened, I'm picking up my prize for the previous time trial and then we're jumping into this one and as you can see we've got a completely clean sheet and I don't know where to break and I definitely have no clue how much grip I've got so you can see I am really slow on this first lap so I'm just going to talk over this one. The thing I really struggled with was that first chicane and then of course uh, the second chicane which is probably the most famous one or the most feared one because you really have to send it through there you can see i'm going really slow i'm all the way down to second gear uh, still have got no clue how fast i can go here uh, we are coming around this corner now i can certainly feel that i just have to trust the car and we are coming through the s's and as uh, the s's are no trouble whatsoever you can just go flat out it's really hard to mess those up i will skip them for the most of the video uh, here i am touching the inside too early it's throwing the car off to the left hand side i have to let go of the throttle so i'm getting a poor run towards the finish line and this is a very slow 122.368 uh, and i try to take turn one in third gear you had need some second gear for the rotation and you can see i'm just going straight off the track uh, i am trying again but uh, unfortunately i'm also messing up the first chicane also a chicane where you really have to send it but eventually we did start to get somewhere so now we are down to a 121.285 and i try to keep going but unfortunately once again the first chicane is going to get me the car jumps the curve i don't get the turn properly so let's just get a ghost on and you can see on the times this is early doors the times has come down very much and the ghost didn't help me get my lap invalidated through the first chicane eventually i managed to get through that first chicane you can see i am down into fourth gear you can take it in fifth gear once you figure it out i don't know all this stuff yet and same goes for this chicane you can take that in fifth gear as well if you get the line dead right but we are down to a 120.550 and uh, on the following lap, I actually flew past the ghost. I know it's early doors, but it nearly caught me by surprise. But I only survived until the CK. So yeah, we are 10 minutes in and you can see the top times are coming down fast and I am struggling to hang on. I updated the ghost and I am going again. We are going to jump ahead on this lap. Unfortunately, I am going to mess up the chicane running off the track, but eventually I did survive a lap and this is uh, roughly a half second improvement and uh, we carry on and this time I get a better run through the chicane, not a fast run compared to what you can do, but it certainly made a big difference uh, to my lap because you don't have to break at all after that second chicane. So we are down to a 119.222 and we get a chunk more of on the following lap so we are down to a 118.686 and then unfortunately i am running out of skills for now still trying that stupid third gear it's not going to work so let's just park the car and uh, have a look i've done 15 minutes this is still very early doors you can see tisney is slowly working down to his lap time guide time we keep going i'm still 
trying third gear. I don't know why I kept doing that. At this point, I probably should have had a look at what uh, the fast drivers were doing. We are staying on board. We made our way through the first chicane and now the hairpin breaking roughly at the 50 board using a bit of first gear up to second gear. I was a bit too eager on the throttle. We can do that faster. This time I'm really sneaking through the chicane, almost crashing, almost running wide. Uh, so this is only going to be a small improvement at 180.396. And uh, yeah, once again, that first chicane got me. Uh, I'm almost sliding back into the silver times. I've done 20 minutes now. Uh, and I'm only slowly improving my time and generally just struggling a bit. So uh, yeah, at least this time we are just about getting into the 117s. So we have to carry on. I've done half an hour now. You can see uh, Tizny is getting close to the 115s. He also spent a fair amount of time compared to normal on uh, getting a time in for his lap guide. And this is my best run within the first hour. But it's not the last run in this video. We are staying on board, uh, looking for that 50 board, trying to turn in, not break too much. I think you can maybe get away with just lifting off, but I cannot do that. Down to first gear for the rotation, up to second. Once again, too eager on the throttle. Uh, I didn't have the car pointed straight for the exit, so I had to keep turning whilst accelerating, and that's not going to work. And uh, yeah, just trying to get the weight shifting right through the chicane, and we are going to go across the line in a 117.658. So that was the end of my first hour, and as this very 80s transition is trying to show, now we are past that first hour. I still had some time before I had to go to work, so I kept going for another roughly 45 minutes. And uh, you can see my time has already come down a tiny bit, making our way through the chicane. And uh, yeah, looking for the, roughly the start of the curb and the 50 board for the hairpin. This time I am maybe doing slightly better on the exit. You can see I've got a faster ghost on now. now I not remember which ghost it is and now trying to make the weight shifting work uh, we are definitely still alive and we are going to go across the line at uh, 117.487 and we are still going but unfortunately yeah messed up the chicane you can see now Tiffany is really getting close to that 115.8 he had in this video and uh, we are trying again and making our way around turn one. This is really about being patient, get the car fully rotated before you go onto the power because otherwise the car will just run wide. It has some understeer once you get on the power. But uh, yeah, we are still alive, making our way around the hairpin. Can I maybe? No, you can see I'm definitely not patient enough on the exit there, getting too eager on the left, no, sorry, the right trigger and uh, yeah, making our way through the chicane and up the hill and we are going to go across the line in a 117.354 and finally, I think, let's see, what can we do this time? Uh, yeah, at least I've started using second gear in that turn one and yeah, despite uh, not a very good first sector, I did better in the chicane. So now we are down to 117.136. And this was as fast as I could go for this morning run, running off the track as well, because now I had to go to work. So we've got another nice 80s transition to show that now it's Thursday evening. I have loaded Key 25's Ghost and uh, Let's see if I can maybe sneak into the 116s. I could already see that I was falling behind compared to my friends list. And uh, at least I have watched some lap guys now. I am taking the first and the second chicane in fifth gear. Just trying to keep the car steady through there. It's basically a lottery ticket to try to get through there. We are very close to getting into the 116s, but you can see we've got Jetta at a 
but now I needed some sleep. Right, let's get back at it. We've still got a 116 to get. This is a new day. This is on my other EMEA account, so that's why the times are all messed up. It didn't take me long. After 30 kilometers, I actually managed to match and slightly beat my time from last night, but I want that sub 17. 346 minutes later. And one million cane crashes later. Finally, I'm getting my final run in for now. Uh, using second gear, being patient on the throttle, so I don't run wide on the exit. Looking for the 50 board, basically just trying to time that lifting off and getting the car sent through that first chicane. Uh, I will not try to explain that one. Uh, more skilled drivers can explain that much better. I'm just trying to mimic what they are doing. We are making our way down towards the second chicane trying to keep towards the right hand side giving myself some room to move about so I can get a good run up the hill and I actually started using that split time if it was above a 42.5 I just restarted with lap because I knew that I wouldn't make it to a sub 17 but this time it is looking promising we are making our way through the S's just keeping it flat out Make sure to not cut too much of the curve because you can feel the car slowing down. And this time I am actually almost running off the track on the exit and uh, the car was definitely slowing down. So I might have been able to do it slightly faster, but we are at a 116.953. I am parking the car for now. This isn't by far an amazing lap, but at least I got into the 116s only just I hope the leaderboards have settled down. I don't really know how much faster I can go here, maybe a few tenths more, uh, but I might just leave it and see if this sticks, because otherwise I might lose my mind. But uh, I hope you found the video entertaining, maybe even somewhat useful. Thanks for watching and I will catch you next time. Bye bye.